Hello, Osseo fourth grade teachers. My name is Peter Brenner with Amplify. Our time is short and we have a lot to cover, so I'm gonna get right to the point. My goal here is to provide an introduction to Amplify Science, including information about the standards you'll see covered and the support you will receive when you choose to pilot Amplify Science next school year. First, what is Amplify Science? Amplify Science is the fastest growing K-5 core science resource in the country. We partner with school districts to deliver an engaging, rigorous, and three-dimensional science learning experience. We find that districts tend to adopt Amplify Science when they need an easy to use and manage science resource, it's critical that their science resource utilizes a phenomena-based approach and embeds three-dimensional learning at every level, at every level, including the lesson level. They also understand that not all students learn the same way and that not all students learn something the first time that they are exposed to it. So they are in need of a resource that incorporates a multimodal instructional approach that reaches and engages all students. And finally, they are looking to support their literacy instruction with their science resource. In the next video segment, Tom Gant, a former science teacher, will provide an overview of our energy conversions unit, where your students will take on the role of systems engineers. Two of the fourth grade earth science benchmarks that this unit covers are 3.2.2.1, generate and compare multiple solutions to reduce the impact of natural earth processes on humans, and 4.2.1.1, where students will read and comprehend grade appropriate complex texts and or other reliable media to describe that energy and fuels are derived from natural resources and their uses affects the environment. I'm going to let Tom go into more detail about the unit, but I did want to close with our awesome support for your pilot efforts. When you pilot a unit of Amplify Science, we provide you with the following customized training plan. We start with an initial training, which is anywhere from one to one and a half hours, where we review and plan for the pilot unit. We have a pre-instruction training that's prior to the first day of instruction. It's 45 minutes per grade level to review any topics based upon the teacher's needs. After five to seven days of instruction, we provide another 45 minute session per grade level, which covers any topics that the pilot teachers wish to cover, along with a review of the assessment capabilities within Amplify Science. After about 12 to 14 days of instruction, we offer another 45 minute session per grade level, customized to the teacher's needs based on their feedback and where they are in the unit. Additionally, we will also review the upcoming activities within that unit. And finally, we finish with a unit completion training. We schedule this close to the end of the unit where we review the teacher's experience and we answer any outstanding questions. We appreciate the time you are taking to explore Amplify Science. I hope you find the remainder of the video productive and we look forward to seeing you at the initial training for Amplify Science. Thanks, Peter, for that excellent introduction. And now it's Tom here to dive deeper into the curriculum. And we're going to start by talking about phenomenon. You know, phenomenon is anything that causes us to question or to 
want an explanation about something that's happening in nature. And students have these natural curiosities that we want to tap into. And so phenomena is an important driver in science education today. And this is a shift away from one dimensional approach of teaching about examples such as sound waves, sea turtles, or energy conversions. Now we have a three-dimensional approach where we can integrate a phenomenon and it becomes much more meaningful for our students who always question us, why are we learning this? Well, now we have a purpose such as sea turtles surviving in a place where sharks can meet them or a town having frequent blackouts. So the shift to a three-dimensional integration allows for a lot of really amazing things to happen. One, we can hook those students to learn. The phenomenal hooks that are embedded in Amplify are role playing. There's a challenge that's engaging. It's a high interest storyline. It becomes very personal to them as well. And so with every unit in Amplify Science, students go on a problem based deep dive. And in that unit, they're going to be a STEM career scientist or engineer, and they're going to unlock this phenomenal real world problem. It's an engaging storyline that's going to create scientists and engineers every day. So imagine being in fourth grade and you get to be system engineers figuring out why the town is having so many blackouts. So why choose Amplify Science? Well, one, we are that phenomena based approach where students are going to use 21st century tools and resources to solve these problems. Secondly, we are designed for the standards by the Lawrence Hall of Science, which I'll explain in a second. We have highly effective teacher planning and assessment tools. I like to say Amplify is so easy, it's a three-step prep to get ready to teach effective science. And then finally, reading is so important in K-5. And so reading and literacy support is integrated, is an important part of the science program. Now let's dive a little deeper. So how are we built for three-dimensional learning? Well, the Lawrence Hall of Science, who's the authorship team that created Amplify, has been creating, LHS for short, has been creating quality curriculum for over 50 years. And they're really well known for development of curriculum that is research-based and has great outcomes. And we were developed, Amplify was developed after the new standards were finalized, as opposed to some other programs out there that might be a retrofit and doesn't quite match up to the really the new demands of those standards. And so Amplify allows you to shift into this three-dimensional way. You do not need to be an expert in three-dimensional science standards. Just know that they're woven through every unit, chapter, and lesson. And I'm going to show you some evidence of this. So let's take the core ideas. The primary core ideas are your earth, life, physical science concepts and engineering as well. But then we have eight action items called our science and engineering practices. These are things that we want students to be able to accomplish. Then we have cross-cutting concepts, things such as pattern, cause and effect, scale. These all, these relate to whatever science we are teaching. And Amplify brings it all together in a great little package with an anchoring phenomenon. What you're seeing here is a three-dimensional statement from the teacher's guide, which actually color codes the practices, the disciplinary core ideas, and the cross-cutting concepts. So you can see with this unit, students investigate through firsthand experiences, a digital model, and by obtaining information by reading, it's all about electrical systems converting and transferring energy. And you can see the rest there in that really clear, color-coded uh, objective. At the lesson level, it goes down even more specifically where students design and make simple solar-powered electrical systems, and it's all about those particular core ideas. At the lesson level, many of our teachers make these into powerful I can statements, which is a great three-dimensional learning objective for your students. Now, uh, let's go over the exceptional program components, the stuff that comes with Amplify Science. I'm going to let my alter ego, Teacher Tom, take over from this point on. Hello, Osseo fourth grade teachers. I am Tom the teacher, and I am super excited to show you all the amazing teacher tools and student resources that you'll be using to teach Amplify Science. This program makes teaching science very easy and practical for you and it makes learning science and engaging fun for your students. With Amplify, your students will be going on a problem-based deep dive with each of the units and answering relevant questions to real-world phenomenal problems. In these four units, students will explore phenomena as systems engineers, conservation biologists, geologists, and marine scientists. Planning is simple. Each unit has 22 lessons, so you'll have a total of 88 lessons to teach for the academic year. Now let's take a look at the teacher instructional materials that bring these units to life. As an example, I'll be using the unit Energy Conversions, where students work as systems engineers. All Amplify units have similar design and resources. 
The design of Amplify units is very clear and easy to understand. The unit has several chapters and each chapter has lessons and every lesson has a series of activities. As you see here, this lesson has four activities, starting with a teacher-led discussion, leading to a student-to-student -student peer review. Activity three is hands-on with a final written design reflection. You are going to love all the great Amplify teacher materials. You can plan your way with either the print or digital teacher's guide. I like using both. And making my science wall is easy with the great print resources, such as the unit and chapter questions and all the vocabulary cards. The materials are printed on heavy cardstock and they are available in both Spanish and English. Talk about easy. Amplify provides teachers a quick prep time with classroom slides engaging high-level PowerPoints for every single lesson that you can download and be ready to teach within minutes. The slides include visual cues, embedded images, videos, and so much more. As you see here, the notes of the slide include teacher actions, supporting dialogue, and even formative assessments. Speaking of assessments, Amplify provides a range of formative assessment types from pre-unit, chapter critical junctures, and on-the-fly quick checks. The critical juncture assessments will give teachers insight into student progress and provides differentiated guidance to ensure that all students can be successful. Each unit will end with a performance task and summative assessment. These resources make teaching in a 5E fashion super easy. The units and lessons are crafted to engage students right away with a video or an activity. It's all built around the phenomenal real world problem. Students will then explore, explain, and elaborate to construct deeper meaning and understanding until they are able to be evaluated for true depth of knowledge and with an application of what they've learned to a new scenario. Now let's look at the student materials that make learning fun. Students will be writing and drawing in their very own investigation notebook, just like real scientists do. They will also be engaged in literacy strategies as they explore five to six unique titles with every unit. Students will love investigating with all the great hands-on materials that are included. Technology is gradually introduced and blended seamlessly into the lessons. As you see here, students can access all their books digitally in both English and Spanish. Students will be elaborating with modeling tools and sorting tools. This demonstrates their deeper visual understanding. Teachers can choose to use these tech tools in whole group, small group, or individualized instruction. Each of these amazing instructional components will serve a purpose to blend the science standards with high quality teaching methods. Amplify Science will have students exploring hands-on activities from 30 to 40% of the time, so they can use these experiences to construct deeper meaning and ideas to solve the questions around the phenomenal storylines. All these great materials come in easy to use bins, so you will be using the resources that you see here. Some units come with the main materials bin, but also include extra boxes that contain any additional resources that you will need. This will save teachers time and money. Amplify kits are very generous and supply enough hands-on and print materials for a class of 36 students. But unlike other companies that supply limited materials where teachers end up with large student groups of eight or nine, Amplify gives enough material for group sizes of two to four students making their hands-on experiences that much more impactful. This also means enough materials for 72 uses and over two or more years worth of supplies. With all these great resources, you can watch your students have fun and show how they can inquire, model, quantify, read, talk, write, critique, and argue like real scientists. Now, Real Tom is back, and I'm here to describe some additional resources that have been added to the program to help support uh, teaching during the pandemic. Some of these resources that you will see will be very useful post-pandemic when students are in full classes in front of us. And so we have online resources for students who have access to technology as well as offline for those who might not have as much access. To begin with, one of the great resources that we've created is called At Home Videos. These are actual videos taught by real Amplify Science educators. They're mostly from Denver Public Schools where we recruited them to create these awesome playlists of a lesson. It's great, it's modified for remote learning. They're using all of our resources to teach the lessons. Uh, you can imagine flipping your classroom, sending the at home video link directly home to students, 
You can watch it yourself to learn how to deliver this lesson. Great for absent students as well as substitute teachers. In addition for more of a print delivery system for students who may not have devices, we have these packets for at-home learning, which can be the full unit, so it's a much thicker packet, or it can be individual lessons. It's modified for remote instruction with less, you know, with that asynchronous time where you're not able to, you know, be really with the students even in a Zoom or a Google Hangout. It's modified to help with students with IEPs as well as um, those who don't have digital access. Of course, we have great hands-on materials in all of our kits, but what if students are stuck at home during a pandemic and can't access those? So we do have recorded videos of students performing all the hands-on experiments. This is great because you could play it as additional model of another way in which students might present um, this experiment. Um, it's great for absent students, and it's just a really good resource to continue teaching in all, all different ways. An additional at-home resource is called the Read Aloud Videos of All Text. I like to say they're Read To Videos, where a teacher actually reads the text in a playlist on YouTube, a video playlist, reading the, the books and flipping through that and using all those great teacher ways in which to teach reading. All of this is located in our new redesigned program hub that includes those remote and hybrid re learning resources organized by grade level. Also, we have professional learning built right into our platform on demand tutorials for teachers as well as students, and then we have additional unit materials. And this is that enrichment piece if you want to go further into some STEAM or STEM projects or library research, we have suggestions for that with all of our units as well. Now I'm going to guide you to where those things are located in your digital accounts. Here I am in my demo account, and in your demo account you can follow along just like I'm doing. Go to the upper land, I call these three stacks or my little hamburger, I'm going to click on that and that's going to open up and I need to scroll all the way down. Now, I have other curriculum loaded that Amplify does sell like ELA and math, but I want to scroll all the way down past our science apps until you get to what's called additional resources. And under additional resources, here is that program hub. When you click on that, it will open a new tab and I definitely explore those remote and hybrid learning resources that we have available. And also, I think it's worthwhile checking out the science program guide. The science program guide goes deep into every aspect of our program beyond everything that you're going to get in a short video. So if you're really interested in specific assets in the program, check out the science program guide as well. At this point, I want to reiterate that books do come in multiple formats. Of course, you're going to get the great print books, the little books that students are going to have in their hands. Those come out of our material kits. We'll also have students have access to a digital version of those same books where they're in control of pressing play, pause, um, and listening to the book be read to them as well. And then we also have those read to uh, videos of teachers reading the text. And then anytime there is a literacy component built into a lesson, we embed in the classroom slides, the PowerPoints and Google Slides, all the images of the text and the pages. So it becomes seamless. You don't have to go out and flip between um, the digital version and your PowerPoint. It's all built in and ready to go. We also have created prior knowledge and prior experience routines to really tap into students' understanding and misconceptions and maybe clear those up along the course of a unit. So after you give a pre-unit assessment, students are going to then engage in what we think we know and our experience as anchor charts. These become a visual part of the classroom. At the beginning of each chapter, students are going to look back on those ideas and experiences to propose answers and make new predictions. At the end of the chapter, students are going to engage in discussions using these charts to identify areas that were accurate, misconceptions, and it really allows them to show growth as well over the course of a unit. So the Amplify Science Learning approach really allows for this instructional shift where students figure out, not just learn about science. It starts with introducing that real world problem and still students can collect evidence from these multiple sources that you see. This all blends into a scaffolded learning process to develop a deeper, complex explanation of science concepts and phenomenon. Scaffolded learning is so important, and in Amplify Science, we call this a progress build. And we really want to think of it as an access point for all of our learners. So we're going to start really simple. Progress build one. Devices work by converting electrical energy into another form. We plug something in, a light comes on, for instance. And so students can understand that. Now, all, along the way, they're going to have critical juncture assessments at the end of each chapter, informatives also, as they come back to that phenomenon. By progress build level two, energy must be supplied from a source and converted where there's no electrical energy available for devices to convert. So in other words, 
our energy comes from somewhere. And that's part of the grid that feeds into where we can plug our devices in. And then finally, electrical energy can be transferred by wires connecting the source converter to the device. And this is where they get down to the, the, the level where they're going to think about those converters and those solutions they need to fix that issue in Ergstown, where it's having all the blackouts. So you can see this deliberate progress of increasing knowledge, and it's very important for, to make sure all learners have access. <clears throat> Amplify takes it further. At the end of a unit, we have an extension or a performance-based task. So let's say students tackle this anchor phenomenon about Ergstown. We want to extend their thinking. Then they have to come up with possible solutions to improve the grid. So first they identify the problem, now develop that improvement. That is an application phenomenon. So they're going to draw upon all the knowledge they learned in the core part of the unit and at the end of the unit come up with those solutions, really showing an application of what they have learned. So with Amplify, as you can see, students really figure out, not just learn about these particular concepts and phenomena. Now, my favorite part, getting into a three-step prep. One, you're going to visit the lesson brief. Two, you get the materials out of the kit. Three, you download the classroom slides, either as a PowerPoint or upload them in a Google slide, and you are ready to go. I'm now going to jump over into the digital platform to show you how this would work with a lesson. So here we are in your teacher account or my teacher account. I'm in fourth grade. I'm going to jump into energy conversions. I'm going to go into chapter one. And I go to lesson 1.2. What you're seeing here is what we call our lesson brief. It has four activities. The first one being a teacher-led discussion reflecting on the unit problem. So it's kind of introducing that. Teacher-led discussion where they're going to observe a simple system and start coming up with some ideas and then going to reading. Now, a couple things. All lessons have this design over here to the left, the overview, and then the materials and prep. So in my three-step prep, I want to come to materials, right? And I'm going to skim this brief and, okay, these are the things I need to pull out for my hands-on activities and other things. I'll be modeling this cherry pitter, um, which is really cool. And then I want to maybe scroll down to differentiation. We know that learners in your classroom come from all different levels. And so here you're going to have a unique differentiation brief for every lesson. Each lesson has different demands it places upon our students. And so here you're going to see support for diverse learners, potential challenges in this lesson, all the way to supports for English learners. Some of these supports are great for other students as well. You can see the list is pretty intensive. And then we have differentiation for students seeing more support in general. And then finally, those who need more challenge. We even want to support those honor students who finish early. We want to keep them enriched and engaged. So every lesson has this differentiation brief. So I visited my lesson brief, I pulled my materials out, and then I'm going to go right over here to the right side to my digital resources, download my PowerPoint, and I'm ready to start teaching with those three steps. My clickable lesson plan is my PowerPoint. Amplify Science just doesn't stop just with students. We also want to engage our caregivers at home. So we have a dedicated caregiver website and support line. Here's the tiny URL for that. What I love about this, it also provides where to go for help for our caregivers at home. There's a separate email and phone number for them to get support. So you can direct them right there if they need. Also, I love these questions for at-home discussion. Um, how many times do I ask my son, what did you learn in science today? He comes back and I don't know, but here I can pull up that actual unit and pull some questions in and have specific dialogue with my with my child at home and, and really figure out what they're learning and have them express that to me as well. So we really want to embed everybody in this learning process. And that includes teachers. You know, professional development is so important. So how do we get teachers prepared for a successful implementation? Well, ideally, we'd be in in-person workshops. If we can't because of the pandemic, then we have a great professional learning team that has been delivering remote trainings wonderfully. We also customize our training based upon a uh, the resources that your school your school sites need. Um, we can customize our professional development by grade band, grade level. Um, we can do assessments, you name it. We have a full portfolio to make sure you are successful in teaching Amplify Science. And so finally, that's why we want you to choose us. We are a phenomena-based real-world approach using 21st century tools and resources to really unlock the mysteries of science in a way that makes sense for our youngest learners. We're designed for standards. You don't have to be an expert. Our experts from the Lawrence Hall of Science has created this program to make it easy for you with those easy teaching, planning, and assessment tools, my three-step prep, as I call it. And then finally, 
reading and literacy support is so important. So we've integrated that into the program, as you will see. And also, we have many schools that have only changed their science program to amplify science. And not only did their science scores go up, but their reading and writing scores did as well. And that can happen to, for you as well at your district and your schools. So thanks again for taking the time to watch this video and have a good day.